Hey everybody, welcome back to another Smash Remix patch overview. It's been a while, but uh, this one I'm pretty excited for, mostly because one of the characters that I've wanted for a very long time got added. And uh, it's the first thing on the list here is that Goemon is now in the game. So let's go check him out. All right, so Goemon is pretty awesome. Um, we'll just go through all those moves real quick with hitbox mode on so you can see what it looks like. All right, so yeah, it's like the, like a lot of the other characters, a ton of attention was paid to the details from his different games um, and everything from run and walk and crouch animations to his teeter. I mean, all sorts of things. But let's look at the moves. So, first of all, just look at his hurt box. The huge chunk of his head doesn't have a hurt box because there's a lot of hair. Anyway, uh, his jabs, he swings his pipe. Um, you can see here, pipe. Boom, boom, boom. That is uh, actually a little three piece from uh, Mystical Ninja 64, Mystical Ninja Star and Going On. But yeah. So we got the jabs, uh, let's do tilts. So we have F tilt. This yo-yo is actually from a Super Nintendo game, um, Gonberry going on or Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Um, big disjointed hitbox, not especially fast, but you get the idea. Oh, whoops. How do I? Oh, there we go. Pretty cool move, though. Uh, it can be angled high and low, just the, the th so it has three three total angles. All right, so that's F tilt, up tilt, big like combo generator right here. Um, pretty disjointed, and yeah, very very good for continuing combos or starting combos at mid percents. Yeah, it's 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 good. Uh, down tilt. This is also from well, it's from Super Nintendo, but it's from other games too. He lays down and does a little pipe swing. Uh, smash attacks. F smash, big pipe swing. You see the pipe like grows in size. Ooh, takes him off of his feet. Pretty goofy. Uh, down smash is just like a double pipe swing. Very similar to Link. Up smash, this is a cool one. He uh, spins the pipe around and then has a little like extra hit at the end, similar to Mewtwo up smash. It's not like super strong, uh, but if they don't DI out of it, it can be great as a, as a combo starter at low and mid percents. Forward smash, down smash, up smash. All right, so we got the smashes. Uh, we can look at the aerials. Nair is your, you know, your normal Nair. Fair is a little pipe swing. Great for horizontal combos. Um, also a good offstage finisher. Uh, down air is a spike modeled after uh, Roy, Roy's down air. But yeah, it's a really good, it's a really good spike because it has the disjoint from the pipe. Um, up air, actually let's do back air. I like this one. This is like swinging, you know, backwards attack with the pipe, very strong, also disjointed. Not super fast, um, I don't think. Yeah, it comes on frame 10. So it's no like Pika back air, which is like 12, but it's pretty slow. And then um, up air, this is modeled after <laughs> anyone that played Smash 4 recognizes this one. But yeah, great for continuing combos, starting combos. Uh, it's not super strong, so it's not like a finisher, but 
like landing up airs um, can be great ways to start combos. And then regular up airs continue combos. But yeah, overall, his aerials are really good. Um, what else are we looking for? Uh, dash attack. It looks like Mario's, but it's not. It's not Mario's. It is similar, though. Nothing to uh, write home about here. And uh, what else we got? Dash attacks. Oh, let me show you uh, the best animation in the game. Got to uh, got to go. Got to go up a bit though. Oh yeah, here it is, everybody. The inchworm. He does this. He can like move while crouched in like all of his games, and it looks like that. So, a really good reference. All right. So specials. He has like everyone else three specials. Neutral special. He throws a coin, and you can hold it to charge. Uh, the charge version goes farther, and does more damage and knockback. So like here's the regular one. Here's the charge. But yeah, that's a. Uh, it's like a conquers where you can like charge in the air and move a little bit, but then once you land, you can walk. You cannot drop through a platform though. All right, uh, down special. This one was really cool. It was fun watching um, the progression, the evolution of this move as, as Frey like worked on it. Um, it's his chain pipe, which is from a bunch of his games. Um, in Smash right now, it serves two purposes. One, it can tether to a wall. So you can use that, you know, recovering. If you miss though, you're you're basically done. Um, but yeah, walls, it will not tether to floors. So like a sloped floor, it should not work. At least that's my understanding. Now, if you hit an opponent with it, shielding or not, it brings you to, oh yeah, I forgot I got nerfed. It brings you to them. And uh, you like dive through them. So this can be used in a bunch of combos. You, it can chain into itself at certain percents on certain characters. So sometimes you might be able to get like one off stage and then another. Like it's it's pretty cool. But yeah, if you miss it, you're you're done. So and if you <laughs> If you miss it on stage, you're sitting there for a long time. Let's see, what is that? 80, yeah, like almost 90 frames, 89 frames. So you're, you're sitting there for a while. Um, up special, this is a really unique one. Um, you ride you ride the cloud. Now, while you're on the cloud, you have completely free range of motion. Um, it doesn't last very long, it did get nerf near the end of the playtest cycle um, while you're on the cloud you can do three things you can move um, you can jump off you can change directions when you jump off by the way um, keep in mind when it expires it, you will auto jump um, the other thing you can do is attack oh I forgot that attack animation got changed too so yeah you can attack while you're on it now if you attack at the end of its duration it will cancel the jump so you'll just fall oh oh you can still do that I forgot you can uh, actually Z drop out of it okay it's not broken anymore it used to be insane you used to have a ton of iframes right now if you drop out of it one two three you still got so oh yeah you you don't have nearly as many you used to be able to like really edge guard people for free with it but yeah you just get a few frames of uh intangibility there um if you manage to get out of the cloud like like perfect land uh, you won't have any landing lag but it's pretty tough but yeah, that's uh, that's 
I think that's the character. Not sure if I missed anything. But yeah, really cool character. I'm excited for him. Uh, let's check. Let's check out the other new characters. There's two of them. So we got Peppy and Slippy. Um, not Peppy does have some custom things. His up air, I forget where it comes from. It's not like a, an exact copy of anything. But a lot of his moves are just copied from some of the other characters, like Wolf or Falco or Fox. Um, obviously, that's we got we got like a Mario or Conquer up tilt there. Forward tilt are the same. Um, forward smash is the same as Falco. Down smash same as Fox. Up smash also same. It's not as strong. Um, here's of oh, the down air. It's like Falco. It spikes. Yeah, the up air. There you go. Back air. More like Fox. Um, unique animation. Forward air. We got the the melee. Uh, the melee Fox. Um, he does have the Wario dash attack. All right, so specials real quick. Up special, it's the Firefox. But uh, you'll notice it, it takes a little bit longer. Uh, it goes pretty far, though. It goes pretty fast, too. Um, does he? Yes, if you hold L, it says barrel roll. Anyway, um, so there's up, down, or neutral. Let's do neutral. He uh, loads his gun. He has a revolver. You tap and he starts charging. And then you can let it loose. It's kind of tough if you just, if you just want to get one shot. You have to like just mash. So not super useful. We'll see if that changes someday, but... It's pretty cool either way. The f really fun ability though is his down special because it is not a shine. He throws the F bomb. So two ways this can detonate. One is by attacking it. And the other is by, whoops, down B. So any one that this hits, Go get him. You can hit it kind of like Conqueror's Grenade, by the way. Um, not that hard, I guess. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe maybe not. Maybe it got changed. Either way, um, you can detonate it yourself, and it stuns them. Puts them into, like, Shield Break Stun. This works in the air also, which is hilarious. Um, it's easier for them to mash out of the stun while in the air, though. Keep that in mind. It's not a... Let's see if I can... Oh, it was so close. Yeah. <laughs> it, it can hit them in the air, and then they could just fall down. So, yeah, that's Peppy. Uh, let's check out Slippy. Slippy is basically the same as the uh, the old Slippy release, as far as like moves and everything. It's still a, a combination of Wario and Luigi for the most part. Obviously, we got the Fox up air, but. The Wario stuff. But yeah, uh, the specials also basically haven't changed. Um, down special still shine that slows down projectiles, but also it doesn't really move people very far. Um, neutral is the big sniper. Great finisher if you can like combo it. And then up special is the uh, jetpack. Uh, the, 
the beginning of it has a spike hitbox. I guess it's kind of hard to get. But either way, that's uh, that's Slippy. Nothing really new with him. All right, let's go into more patch notes now. Uh, not a ton of stuff. It, this this patch, it, it feels like not quite as, uh, I don't know, robust as some of the other ones. Not as many things got added, but we did get three characters, so it's kind of crazy. Um, let's see here. Going into... All right, so Polygon, more Polygons got added. Uh, the Remix, like Remix Polygons. We got Ganon, who is supposed to resemble, you know, like Pig Ganon. Uh, also got Falco, pretty cool looking. So yeah, um, we got some changes to Sonic. They mostly, um, not, not all of them, but we got some changes to that nerf his recovery. One of them has to do with his neutral special. It's a, a steeper angle when not homing, and it doesn't go like quite as fast. So using that while recovering, um, you you can't use it as much, uh, especially if you're like a little bit lower down. It'll just like put you super low. Um, another big change is the reduced height on his up B. He does not go as high anymore. So, yeah, nerf right there. But it's not all bad for Sonic fans. Um, you can act sooner out of the up B. Like, as soon as you reach the apex of the uh, the jump, you can hit a button. So, yeah, you lost, you lost distance, but you, again, you can act sooner, so that's cool. Um, what else we got? Oh, if you do a grounded up B, you can double jump after. It doesn't take your jump away. And the spring lasts a little bit longer. One second longer. Uh, changes to down special, definitely welcome. Uh, you can act earlier after jumping. So just more options there. Uh, also, after going off ledges, you can act earlier. Charging requires fewer inputs. And uh, you can go a little bit faster with it, so that's cool. It does have a weak hitbox while charging. So if you, like, dropped onto somebody, I'm sure you could turn that into something cool. Retains less Y velocity when starting the move. So if you use it in the air, you'll, like, kind of float a little bit instead of just like immediately sinking. All right, his F tilt got changed a little bit, low angled F tilt, reaches a little bit lower. So you can like edge guard with it. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Uh, damage increased by one on it. Up tilt, damage decreased. Nice, love to see it. All right, his bear his bear got changed and i want to show you so the second hit comes out faster the hitboxes are smaller and there aren't as many active frames so you got the one hit it's not quite as massive anymore but then the second hit comes out pretty quickly so this is an overall nerf in my opinion because the move isn't sitting out as long anymore and it used to be just like a really oppressive move it's still very good but having those two hits come out faster smaller hitboxes means the move's not out as long and it is probably a little bit harder to combo so that's pretty nice uh down air two two less hits two fewer hits at the very end it was kind of a silly move it's not as long anymore um, also, Sonic's airspeed got reduced. So he's less insane in the air. Still very good. But it's less. 
Um, hurt box adjusted to be more consistent during spin moves. Okay, I guess it was either a little small or a little big. I forget. All right, that's it for Sonic. Uh, Lucas, his special fall airspeed was increased. All right, nice. CSS image updated. I'd have to compare them side by side. Falco got a Falco got a graphics trail for his his phantasm. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's see. Metal Mario sound effects updated. Sheik got an updated model. Um, I think it just helps with frame rate stuff. Same with um, the skeleton got updated. Down special graphics and sound effects added. Neutral air animation, legs match hitboxes. Hurt boxes? Probably mean hurt boxes. Crouch animations fixed. There's some there's some jank with Sheik's model, so that's that stuff got fixed. Um, same with like the F throw animation. Updated character select animation. Hmm. hmm. Nice. All right, moving on. DDD got his uh his up special infinite jumps bug fixed. Those of you that didn't know about that, suckers. Um. He actually got he got updates to his jump as well. Uh, he actually like he like puffs out now. It didn't it wasn't it didn't quite do that before. Belly stays enlarged for neutral special turnaround. Waddle do's star projectiles are no longer clank. Okay, so. If you don't know, grounded attacks can, that's what can like clank. And so I guess it counted that as a grounded attack, but now they are considered projectiles. So they will not clank. They will always beat another attack. A lot of characters got this, some sound effects changed for their attacks. Um, Ganon's up smash and down smash got like the whoosh sound effect change. Same with Wolf's uh, fair up air, neutral special and down smash, Bowser's fair, and okay, Polygon Bowser's stomp now plays during walk run dash. Nice. I guess he was silent before. Dark Samus now has three victory animations and an updated dash animation. Some characters got yellow costumes. Uh, we got Fox got a a yellow costume. Oh, what am I doing? I'm hitting D-pad. Fox got a yellow costume. Uh, it looks like he's wearing khakis or something. Let's see, Samus got one. Gold Samus. Mario. I mean, Mario kind of already had one. Now he has that. Luigi. Oh, Link. We got Pink Link. Pink Link. So some yellow costumes got added. I wonder if they're going to add a yellow team. Who knows? All right. In Remix 1 player mode, uh, they added more team fights. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of different teams now. So one of them. Let's see what we get here. The Dream Team. Kirby and DDD. There's a bunch though. There's you know like Sheik and Link. There's like Bowser and DK or something. I don't know. There's a lot of different ones. Um, there's one with Mewtwo and another Pokemon. I forget who. But yeah, there's a lot of cool new fights. Um, let's see. On very hard in Remix One P, looks like the CPUs are level ten in the one v ones. Uh, the bonus stages, so they used to, if you played a lot of Remix 1P, you notice that, like, if you play with a vanilla character, their bonus stages will be of a different characters. Um, that is no longer the case. Vanilla characters will get their regular stage. Um, this just, I don't know, is kind of a weird change, but it is what it is. Uh there were various difficulty adjustments uh, to Remix 1P. Overall, it is a little easier. They added a Falco match. 
apparently there wasn't a Falco match. Oh, because he was always with Fox. That's right. Uh, but now since it's not always the Star Fox team, you can get Falco by himself. Uh, of course, the congratulations screen at the end was updated to you know add in the new characters. All right. All right, now here's one of my favorite parts of this new patch, and that is the new stages. There are a lot of new stages. Um, you've already seen Edo Town and uh, Twilight City from Wave Race. They also added uh, Melroad from Quest 64. This stage, you know, we got a we got a unique layout here. Um, I could see this being used for singles and doubles. It's not. It's bigger than Dreamland, but it's not too big, in my opinion. And platforms are good positions. Blast zones are good. It's a cool stage. I'm uh, definitely going to play on it a lot. Um, some stages... So these were like the big three that got added. But other ones were added via like overhauls. So like First Destination, there's also now First Destination Remix which is a pretty pretty wacky stage. Um, we also got... So Criteria, which was like Zeeb's Landing, which was just this Dreamland variant. Now this is their... This is like the, the normal version of the stage, right? It's this big stage. We got different like moving platforms. Got all kinds of things going on. Um, but you can still play the Dreamland variant. Same with um, Deku Tree. This one... You have a little tunnel in here, so you cannot drop. Oh, you can drop there. Okay, um, you can play in the water here. There's this huge ledge, but again, if you just want to play, you know, the Dreamland version that's been there for a long time, it's still there. Let's see what else got updated. You saw the, if you watched the trailer, you saw Ganna's Tower got like a major graphical like visual overhaul so it just in my opinion it's like playable now you can actually see what's going on uh it looks great and uh another stage that got a big overhaul was um peach's castle peach's castle 2 sorry so it is much more closely resembles like the version from other games um and it's not like massive and unplayable anymore it looks good we got we got waving flags uh massive improvement here um actually a stage that people might want to play on now <laughs> let's see uh mount ddd and dragon king dragon king remix they got size updates but the stages you know mostly are unchanged cool cool mountain got a new background Subcon got a new carpet flight path. Um, bottom blast on a Dr. Mario stage got adjusted. A lot of stages got their magnifying glass colors fixed. You know, the uh, when you go like out of the visible area of the screen and it has like that little magnifying glass that shows your character, that color actually, uh, you know, it changes depending on what stage you're on. And so those got like fixed for a lot of remix stages. Stage preview scaling got changed. Stage profiles. Oh, the stage profiles when you're uh, in here in your in your settings. So things like uh, staff picks, you know, got updated. Um, we'll get some more of that stuff later. Our right, toggles. We got a toggle. Well, it's not. Eh. It's in here. So on the very last page, you can have a random have it do random character if you press l it was on by default and i guess people kept hitting it by accident and like changing their character i wish it was still on by default it's such a nice thing to have i don't like having to go in here and change it but whatever i'm not in charge uh jigglypuff sing and yoshi story cloud graphics um, apparently there's like old like beta versions of those graphics like buried in the game somewhere and so there's a toggle to play with those on uh, if you just saw me now go in here you notice there's a new thing called gameplay settings 
so many toggles got added that it was really starting to clutter the remix settings. So they added one that j for all the things that just affect gameplay. Um, and a lot got added this patch. We got melee hit stun toggle. We got air dodging. We got jab locking. We got melee hit lag. We got wall teching, footstool, perfect shield, ledge trumping, spot dodging, fast fall aerials, um, C jumping from ledge. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. Some of it's pretty goofy. Some of it's pretty fun. Um, stuff like where's air dodging. So you can like there's different settings here. You can have it be like melee air dodging. You can have it be like ultimate. You can have air dashes. There's all kinds of things. Um, it's pretty wacky. CPU versus level override. I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> um, they renamed cruel Z cancel to punish failed Z cancel for clarity. Okay. Here's one, and they're they're mad at me. I didn't put this in the trailer, but the trailer is music. How am I gonna show this? You can have the Pokemon Stadium announcer, um, which actually reminds me, there is one stage I didn't mention. Did I skip it? No. Yeah, I just skipped it. It was right there. So there's a new stage called Gym Leader Castle. Um, it's a remake of Kalos. Kalos is now gone, and it is Gym Leader Castle. Uh, the big change, besides all the visuals, is the stage is smaller. So, hello, tournaments. Um, going in here, though, on that, on that stage, the announcer from Pokemon Stadium does all the announcing. It's great. Um, but if you go in here, you can change it so that it's either off or it's on every stage. So let's real quick, just yeah, it's got to go somewhere. Oh, we'll probably go to this stage. They go into. Come on, say something. Alright, so yeah, Pokemon Stadium announcer, it's great. There are so many random voice lines and like weirdly specific ones. So yeah, there's there's good stuff in there. Really glad. Really glad that got put in. Um, you may have seen it when I was in training mode before, but I had the uh, golden gun. New item added. As you would imagine, it is a one hit KO, uh, but it only has one shot. That's it. Uh, it breaks shield and it does one hit KO, and it also will shoot through multiple enemies. Alright, Franklin Badge no longer immune to physical attacks from Pokemon. Pitfall becomes invisible for a short time. Combo meter fix with Pitfall. Increased spawn rate for remix items to match vanilla items. Alright. Alright, here's a change I am definitely not happy with. It's for all the casuals, but the default CPU level is now three. So when you load up a new game, it goes to three. Ugh. So you always have to change. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. All right, level 10 CPUs will grab if their jab connects on frames one to two. So yes, they will jab grab. Um, Star Fox Heritage Reflectors are better at shield breaking and punishing. Mad Piano will not try short hop dare or up special to attack. So not as many SDs for Mad Piano. That's the, the takeaway there. Um, Bowser will not short hop SD. Less likely to spam charge attacks. 
Yeah, so just updates to the level 10 CPUs. Uh, CPU Sonic will not, CPU Sonic attacks will connect more reliably. They will not do down special close to the ledge. CPU Giga will not attempt grabbing. This is uh, this is going to make Remix One Player a lot harder because that's a that was a big way that you would win is uh, you would get Giga to grab you in like F throw SD or something. Uh, DV will not attempt up special as an offensive option. Yeah, these are like almost all things to just make it so that they don't SD as much. Yeah, less likely to SD. Pikachu variants will recover similar to Pikachu. That's terrifying. Uh, can we utilize charge neutral specials more? Improved AI toggle. CP players won't evade a hammer user while they are invulnerable. Oh, nice. That's smart. Um, this, this toggle was a great addition. And uh, the... Music profile, you can load a profile fresh jams and it only turns on all of the songs that were added or updated in the most recent patch. Very useful. I love it. It's great for testing stuff, but it's also nice just to like hear all the new stuff. Now, the rest of the patch notes. Am I right? The rest? Almost. Almost the rest of the patch notes are music related. Tons and tons of songs got updated. Um, I advise anyone interested in music to check out the patch notes. A lot of new songs got added. A lot of old songs got updated. There's a lot going on here. So definitely check out all the music. A ton of work goes into this. And it's one of my favorite parts of the entire uh, mod. All right, let's get through the music. Yeah, wow. All right. Now we're at the end of the patch notes, miscellaneous things. Uh, FOV control added to versus pause. If you want to uh, keep messing with the camera, there's a lot of cool camera stuff you can do that's been added over time. Um, real quick, though, I want to show you the, uh, the FOV. So you can get some pretty cool shots. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's fun. Um, D-pad movements were improved, so just D-pad functionality is now better if you're trying to use that as a way to control your character. Um, this, you know, just a fun little thing that got added. Um, but all the remix characters have bios now. We had a, we had a fun time writing them and you know making sure it all got in. Um, I think I wrote, I wrote a bunch of them. I think Retro wrote a few. Heron wrote one or two. Soap contributed a bunch. A lot of people contributed to this. Um, we had we had fun coming up with uh, little stories for them and whatnot. So definitely uh, go through and check out a lot of the bios. And uh, yeah, that's um that's basically it. The very last thing, Kirby Victory Animation 3, his third victory animation. It exists. You can use it. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything. Again, not as much stuff in this patch as maybe some previous patches, but a lot of quality work in here. We've got three characters. We've got got tons of new music, a lot of new stages and updated stages, on all those gameplay toggles. Um, it's going to be a great time. I'm really, really happy with this patch. Um, so excited to play more Goemon and excited for people to see who that actually is. So the two characters I wanted the most got in with Marina and Goemon. Um, now, who knows, right? There's one open slot on character select. So I guess we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, until then, um, go play, go download it, patch it, play. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all around. Have a good one.